And man, we're back with some more Alan Wake 2. Let's do this. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. Yeah. I smell coffee. We go get that coffee, okay? Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> You're getting ready for deer fest. No one's mentioning that there's like FBI here. Oh dear. Cute. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. I don't. How would nice you have guessed? I got you both some coffee. Ah, oh, thank you. Washington's finest. Okay. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Yeah? Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. <laughs> okay. just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll Aww. see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Did he say pie? I want pie. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Oh. Yeah, that's exactly right. Are these them? Oh, yeah. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Yeah. What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was ah. down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Yeah. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. <laughs> we ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. I mean, I, I already saw what happened, but like, as an FBI agent without actually seeing what happened, like that makes, that sounds about right, considering all the stuff we found. What makes you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. Right. They were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. Found what? Oh, she That's stopped him. Oh, I think I can profile now. Let's do it. Oh, we got weapon upgrades. No, we don't. Well, I guess so with profiling. Oh, no, never mind. All right, prof bookers. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. Oh my God. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. And she removed evidence. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? 
prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. Yeah, except she's hiding evidence now, though. That's the only issue. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. I told you not to keep that thing to me. Eggs. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Ah. They know each other? I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Huh? Happens well, don't, on TV. Well, don't bring it up the then. Time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Well, that's weird. I wonder if she read a book. I think Saga Anderson was one one of the characters, right? I don't Oh, let's see, is that a profiling thing? Oh, we should probably add that to the evidence board, actually. Oops. Alright, case board. Zier. Oh. Wait, that's a different evidence thing? Point of interest cases? Track objects and for information that Saga has acquired to chart collection progress? Oh. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Hmm. Oh. Let's see, Bright Falls area, maybe? <laughs> no. Up here? There we go. Oh! I see. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oops. All right, let me get back to the Aldrin Lake murders. All right, we got clues now. Booker's described multiple attackers. That's not it. Oh, maybe killer profile? There we go. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Okay. Let's see. Background cases accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. Oh. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Nice. All right, so we got a cult necklace here. Cult goal or what kind of cult? We could put that there. Cult symbols. All right, and then we got Colts wearing masks, Colt symbols. No. There we go. Colt. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then for this, large amount of supplies laid out on table. 
Okay. Who's involved? I really like how they do this. All right, let's get out here. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Yeah. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? Oh my god! I played some D&D &D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. I... Uh, he was not what talking about D&D, &D, sir! Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true! More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. <laughs> hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. Oh, yeah? But it's best not to take it personally. Okay. I hear a cat. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep. In the morgue. All prep. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Let's get this map Lead first. Lead the way, Sheriff. Sweet. Wait, does that add it to my actual map? Oh, nice! Okay. Cool. I wonder how she looks like like IRL when she's inside her head you, room, sir. her headspace. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. Where they go? Oh, what's that? I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station for Pete's sake. One of these days I'm gonna catch you red-handed. You better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. And what does this say? What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. Whoever this That's hilarious. It's not opening. They locked up an innocent man. Maybe I shouldn't be in here. I swear I didn't do anything. Well, I don't know you. I'm just FBI. Maybe I can find something in here to add to my evidence board. Agent? Hi. Let's uh, go about your business. It's an inspection. It's an inspection. Don't you know, worry. The investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Oh dear. Sheriff Rick I have a tourist. And it appears that I I'm lost in the woods. I'm being it serious. only had a tour guide also. Bear season. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> what is that? Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you a tour of a lifetime. Yeah. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yako. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Coscala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. Oh my God. Both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything and we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. 
fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. Uh huh. The tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. <laughs> Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner coffee thermos. Oh my god. What was that? That's the best commercial I've ever seen. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. Okay. What's that? Oh, nice. How do I turn on my my flashlight again? Can I not do that? All locked in here. Okay, fine. I'll go this way. Oh, it's circle. Nice. Oh, hi. She scared the crap out of me. I can't force it open. Uh, what's going on over here? Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Let's see. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Post-mortem? Was he dead already when he came out of the lake? Yeah, because why would they take him up, tie him down, kill him, take him down again, soak him in water, and then bring him back up? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Yeah? There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Yeah. All right, let's add this to the case board. All right, let's see here. Examination of our Nightingale. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. All right, we got this. Got ritual writing, okay. Cause of death. Hmm. What? Think. Oh, come on, fine. All right. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Tattoos on Heart body. Can't have been marked before removal. Yeah. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Okay. Chest trauma is clear cause of death. Let's do this. What's that? 
the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Oh, no. No, 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 wait. Oh, no. Sheriff? What the hell? Oh! Show me the clicker. Stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. I just sneak out. He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Safe havens will restore your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven within combat, it will become temporarily okay. Go. Jeez. Oh, wow. Wow. That was so cool. Oh, no. I didn't know the chapter would end that soon, though. Oh, boy. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Yeah, for real. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Yeah. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. Yeah. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Yeah, for real. There's one of the pages on the floor. Let's pick it up. Where is These it? pages are important. 
Breaker dropped one before he disappeared. Oh, well, here we go. Can we actually read it? Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. What? Oh my god. Free. Let's see here. All right. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Yeah. Yep. Casey, let's see. Is it go here? No, oh, maybe it's uh actually li <sighs> Here we go. Oh why? Hmm. Oh there we go, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Right. Radio. Oh, okay. So I can collect different commercials too. That's hilarious. Awesome. All right, friends. And that, that's it for today's video. <laughs> If, if I knew I did only had another had another like what almost 30 minutes to finish that chapter I probably would have just done it in the first video but I had no idea I was trying really hard not to look these times up in case I accidentally read spoilers I might do it for next chapter just so we get a better gauge on it and I don't cut it part way through I feel like we we're leaving it off on a good good point though again friends if you like the content want to help support the channel and keep these daily uploads coming please hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment all of those help out a lot thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye